Hi, I'm Leslie Glazer. I'm a local real estate expert in Chicago and host of Windy City Wednesdays. Each week, I feature a neighborhood gem so you can get a little more insight and backstory on some of Chicago's favorite places. Hi, it's Leslie Glazer with Windy City Wednesdays, and today I'm talking to Kate Vrymoot with Necessary Coffee. I am super excited. So Kate, why why Logan Square? I chose this location as an art studio and it came with a tiny little storefront that did not work for me as an art studio, the front portion of it. Um, and since all of my work is about connecting people with themselves and others, I just thought, how am I gonna turn this little storefront into a forward facing thing for the community. And so when I came out for the inspection a couple years ago, I stayed at an Airbnb nearby in the neighborhood. And as I walked back and forth and up and down the street, I just asked people in the neighborhood what they needed in the neighborhood. And I yeah, I had a few ideas, you know, if they if they asked me what I was considering, I would tell them the, the other ideas. But overwhelmingly it was coffee shop. That's what people really wanted was a coffee shop. I, I, when I was there the other day, there must have been eight people out front just waiting for their coffee. It was and pretty good. People are doing a great job right now, physically distancing, staying, you know, eight or more feet apart, um, wearing their masks, um, getting their drinks and kind of moving on. And it's hard. I mean, the whole point is to connect neighbors with neighbors and they can't really linger and talk to each other. But I am hearing from community members who are telling me that they're meeting people while they're physically distanced, they're talking to each other anyway, and they're that. meeting familiar faces and learning about their neighbors. So the cafe is kind of serving the purpose that it was intended to serve. We are expanding a little bit in the time of Corona, and I, I think that that occurred for several reasons. One is we're located in a dense neighborhood we're a neighborhood cafe and everybody's working from home. So we have a broader customer base. Um, two is our business is already set up as a takeout business. So the adjustments that we had to make were adjustments to processes, but we didn't really have to build something new. It was already set up this way. And what, are you, what else is there besides coffee? We're pivoting now to meet the needs of the community. Um, the first thing that happened was I figured I already carry milk. You know, I can sell it to the community. And my distributor who gives me, who, who I buy the milk from, they're able to get eggs and flour and yeast and other basic things. And so I just kind of cheese, I tack those things on too. The eggs are a big seller, the flour is a big seller. People are really looking for yeast right now. So that's been great. Uh, one of my other uh, distributors who I had not had the opportunity to work with, but had opened an account with a year ago, came up with a plan during the time of Coronas, they're a produce company, Test of Produce, and their business was impacted and they started offering fruit and vegetable boxes. And when that, when they offered that, I thought, I want that, I need that, I don't feel comfortable in the grocery store and I would like to just pick up a box of produce rather than having to shop for it. I bet other people are in the community like me too. So I started offering it and it's really taken off. People love, love it, they order, they get their orders in by Tuesday. They can order a whole host of other grocery items with it. Our primary baking partner is um, their, their baking facilities in Pilsen. It's a woman-owned business, Spoken Bird. And uh, I can order all kinds of bread from them and bagels. And so all of that is available for pre-order on the grocery list right from our website. And people order bagels and they order split top uh, sourdough loaves and seeded bread and all kinds of wonderful things to go with their grocery items. And I really hope that there. that continues. It's you pretty know. good. I hope it continues as long as the community has a need and when the community no longer has the need, yeah. that's fine. You know, as, if I'm feeling a need, I want to support the community. So it works Good. out. Amazing job, Thank really. You. I mean, you are really making a difference in Logan Square. 
I remember when you first said, I want, I want to have something for this community. And look at you now. We're working in a, it's a, it's a learning curve and, um, and we're learning all the time. And we all are learning all the time right now. I'm sure we're all overwhelmed with all the information coming at us and this new way of living and how do we keep each other safe and mm -hmm. it's a, there's a lot. Yeah. So the best way to, uh, if they want to order, go to your website. The if best not, way to, window. to order groceries <laughs> at items is to go to our uh, website, www.necessary-coffee.com backslash groceries. Perfect. So if you want to order groceries, go to the groceries tab. There's a link there. I'll I'll see the order. I'll invoice you, and we're all good to go. Love it. And and it's all contactless. Even the produce, we put out a table outside, and when somebody comes, I put the produce box on the table. I go back inside. They pick it up, and we never have to. We never have to get each other's cooties. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and what are your hours now? So right now we're open from. 7.30 to 2.30 every day. Um, as the weather gets nicer, uh, we expect to see uh, traffic increase a little bit. Um, if and when that does occur, we want to space people out more. We don't we don't want to foster an environment where there's 20 people waiting outside that we don't, that just isn't seem safe to us. So when that starts to, when we start to see that happening, we'll expand our hours so that people can spread out and, and come, you know, a little more distance from each other. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Kate. This was just a, a <laughs> pleasure and it was so great to see you. It's really good to see and you. And I'm just going to have to stop thank by. Some yours. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great day. You too. I'll see you.